Okay, everyone, I want to do a quick video here and just talk a little bit about the flower sac characters. So the emphasis is on flower sac. So we're taking a uh, rectangle, right? A flower sac would be like a pillowcase, right? It's basically a rectangle that you can fill with a pillow or grain in case of a flower sac and make it three-dimensional. So we're starting with this idea, how do we make that into a character or a three-dimensional um, object? So we're gonna use stretch and compression, overlapping forms, and ellipses to do this. So the three drawing aids that we use to create three-dimensionality. So that's what the emphasis is. So we're gonna create our characters with that in mind. So it's great to have fun with this and make all kinds of crazy characters, but make sure you are using those three drawing aids. That's the purpose of this in this course. So, um, you know, say we're doing a little, oh, I don't know, ballerina, say. So, so uh, stretch and compression, right, remember? So we can use that, we can start there. That's one way to create three-dimensionality, right? The macaroni idea. To that, we can add, we could add uh, some stripes. So we could really work on this elliptical wraparound idea. We could add some stripes. We can have fun with that. <clears throat> we can, um, you know, we can put little legs, you know, with a little, where the, um, you know, once you start putting something into this, you know, these little corners start to come out like that. So we can overlap, overlap, right? And then this one, if this is overlapping, we then have this in front, this behind. So we can kind of practice that idea. We can use these to kind of become little arms. We could put a little head on here if we wanted to. Um, we can use these as <clears throat> legs feet, you know, do whatever you want to do with this, and you can make any kind of a character, but you want to make sure that you are thinking about these forms and how, it's very much like a figure, right? So, so as you're working on this, you're thinking, well, I could turn this in just as readily into a figure, doing something, right? I could, you know, make this into a figure. So, that is sort of the idea of getting your, um, moving along with these so that you start to realize how you figuratively, you could be working on in the same kind of vein, getting a lot of action into your figures with these same tools, these same drawing aids. You know, so, you know, if you wanna start animating or getting things working with this, this is sort of the lead up to it. So, so again, you wanna have, you know, any kind of character you wanna do, the more fun, the better. I'm really, I'm always really happy when people are um, talking about how much fun they had and how this was such a relief just to play and have fun. Um, I just want you to have one, you know, ear to uh, the fact that this is actually relating to stretch and compression, overlapping forms, and ellipses. So those three things that give figures volume.